And so now we come to the third part of our a promotional recruitment film and this is pretty much taken up with a foot, football games and probably one game uh, in particular and you're going to be seeing quite a bit of it here it'll come on a little bit later on the game that they really were interested in and filmed here at length was a game between St. Xavier College and the United States Marine Corps from Quantico, Virginia. And it took place on October the 22nd, 1928. Uh, shortly after the stadium opened, as a matter of fact, the stadium, this might have, might have been this, about the second game that was played in the uh, stadium, the Corcoran Field. And um, you'll see that in just a minute, I, I'm not sure which game this is, as you're looking at right now, but in a minute, there'll be reference to the Marines, and I think the rest of the film is, is uh, the game that I was talking about between the United States Marines from Rock Quantico and St. Xavier College. Uh, you'll notice in this film that the Marines are referred to as the Devil Dogs. I didn't know it before, but that is one of the uh, nicknames of the Marines. Usually think of them as the Leathernecks. But here it is. The Musketeers meet the Devil Dogs, St. Xavier uh, against the U.S. Marines. And the Bulldog, which was the mascot of the U.S. Marine Corps and for this particular team. This game took place on, uh, of course, on the Corcoran Field as part of the Cincinnati's celebration of Navy Day. And notice the band there, that's a military band, that's not Marines. Those, and these student, these soldiers are looking at, these are not Marines, this is the United States Army. And all of those soldiers actually paraded on the field before the game. They're from the 10th Infantry of the United States Army, which in those days was uh, located at Fort Thomas, Kentucky. Fort Thomas was a real fort at that time, and the soldiers you saw there came from there and paraded. This is the uh, cheerleader really throwing himself into it here. And uh, he, here you can see the Xavier fans on the west side of the uh, bleachers. That's the press box there that you can see in the background. And uh, they're really getting into the game here. The Marine Corps was the opponent on this occasion. And this gentleman you're about to see, I'm quite sure, is Brigadier General uh, Nathan Lane. And Nathan Lane spoke on this occasion as part of Cincinnati's celebration of Navy Day. And this is one of the bands that performed. There were actually three bands on the field at halftime. This is one of those bands, and uh, they're performing for, for the crowd. And as I say, the reason for the additional bands is this was the city's celebration of Navy Day. Uh, there was a reception downtown for the dignitaries before the game, and after the game, they all went back downtown for a, a military dinner. This probably is the kickoff of the football game. It, it was a very good game. Uh, unfortunately, Xavier lost six to nothing. Uh, they uh, played a very good first half, but during the second half, or here they complete a forward pass. Forward passes were relatively rare at the time. If you look closely, you can see Xavier actually executes one. You'll see the ball coming down the field, and. The, re the man who receives it is tackled immediately. And here's uh, the bench at the, on the sidelines. And this would be the north end of the field. And you can see the stadium and, and also the parking lot there. And the tennis courts would be just beyond there. It, I think, rained through much of this game, and that also accounts for something of the darkness of the picture. But they were proud of this game. It was one of the very first games in the stadium, and uh, as I say, the, it was part of the, a city celebration as well. That's the student section. The students got in free of charge, just as they do to basketball games today, and there they are on the uh, east side. Corcoran Field was originally going to be finished. The entire horseshoe was going to be finished. They never did that. Its capacity was about 15,000, and it was raised in 1988. And the university soccer field is on that present location today. As you know, Xavier dropped football in 1973. This is the Marching Musketeers at halftime. 
And the band at that it was only about three years old. And it became a tradition along about this time that at halftime, the band would form a great big X out on the field, there it is, and they would play a couple of the Xavier songs, Xavier Furry in particular. Uh, we take this for granted, but it was a brand new uh, entertainment in those days. And now we're coming down to the end of the video, and here is Jimmy Deere meeting the dean of the College of Liberal Arts. It's a very quick meeting, as you can see. And this is the farewell. We're once again outside of Hinkle Hall, and there's Jimmy getting into his car. He's saying goodbye to everybody around. And they say, I'll see you in September. And uh, he responds by saying, you sure will, which indicates that the film was a success. So this recruitment film uh, ends on this note. Very fancy car, and he's pulling away. And, and that's the end of our video. Thank you.